practice and we're back on site today. It's really cold. Tomorrow's supposed to be in the 20s. I'm just I'm honestly not going to work tomorrow. Uh, today, I was thinking it was a warm day, but it's really only warm by comparison. It's 30 degrees out and when you're out touching cold metal things, it just, it's really uncomfortable. So we're really having a great time today. My dad came out uh, to help me put on the rest of the windows. We did a couple up here and now we're ready to move the scaffolding over again. And I want to share with you how we've been moving the scaffolding. Uh, we made it so that there's these little decks and they can come off. Uh, they, they can be lowered down. You can kind of take it apart and, and move it that way. Uh, but, you know, who has time for that? What we wanted to do is come up with a way of moving it really quickly without having dis to dismantle it. And this is what we came up with. Uh, we've got it on uh, two layers of cinder blocks and then some blocks of wood to kind of level the whole thing out. And to move it, we... Uh, set up another set of cinder blocks over here and we made these little tracks which are just made out of 2 by 10 boards and uh, the idea is that we're going to move it onto the tracks and slowly inch it along. Now if that doesn't sound dramatic enough I should let you know that both my bicep and my tricep are all really pulled in sore. My toes I can't feel them right now and I just that, that's not really relevant I just want to complain about it. My dad's still recovering from his sprained ankle and Root canal. And a root canal. So we're in really rough shape. Uh, so Evidently, we're I, I'm better off than he is. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, so we're going to try to move this thing. I learned from last time that gloves are not a great thing to wear because it gets really slippery. And I'm going to be using my bare hands on the cold metal. And uh, we've all seen the Christmas story. So we know what happens when you have something warm and wet and it touches something freezing cold. Don't lift it with your tongue. Yeah. All right, here we go. So we're just going to move it off to the side here. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay, cool. I think, I think you're all on. After this, we're going to show you how to put windows in because we've had a lot of experience and uh, you can see how we've been putting the windows in. Okay, so just like, a, I don't know, a few inches, a foot at a time, maybe. Okay. You can see mine and I can see yours. Yeah. Ready? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. You're going to have to bump yours up to go yeah. over that. Okay. I'm going to lift up a little more. Okay. Okay, we, well, we fell yeah, off there. You, that's okay. you got that? Let me make sure these are still kind of on there. All right, here we go. Almost there. Okay, I'm getting close to falling off here. Okay. Okay. I think we're pretty much there. Okay. Now we just have to make the uh, the stacks of wood on the side. I'll use a level to get it at least somewhat close to level, and uh, then we'll finish up these two windows. Let's uh, cut forward for you guys to see how we've been putting these windows in. Because these windows, they weigh as much as like a bag of cement. I mean, it looks like it's glass, like it's nothing, but. Glass is rock. Okay, so we got the scaffolding moved over to these two windows. We just put this one in. I'm going to show you how uh, we've learned to kind of do a two-person process to get this thing up because, again, it's pretty heavy. But before that, I wanted to show you two things. One, it's snowing out. It just started, like, as we were coming up here. And uh, it's like actual real snow, so I just wanted to throw that out because it's fun to look at in 360. The other thing is I wanted to show you uh, how to get the screens out of these windows. Now, not all windows are the same. Uh, you know, they have different techniques uh, to get the screens out. What I've been used to in the past is windows, screens that have little tabs. You grab them and they kind of like, uh, there's a spring on one side and they pop out. These didn't have any of that. They were just enclosed in this jacket. And it was like, how the heck are you supposed to get that out? Is it not supposed to come out? It is, and it's weird. I called the company. You need to take something like a screwdriver. In this case, I'm using a little, what is this called? Putty knife. Putty knife. And what you do is you kind of scrape around the side, and the screens here, the frame's bendable. So they come out like that. It just, I thought I'd share that because I actually had to call the company to figure that out. So my dad and I are going to do this. I'm going to be on this side because this is the arm that's garbage for me today, and he's going to be over on that side. Now, this is not so critical. Did I pick? Is this facing the right way? No, it's not. You've got to flip around. Okay. Oh. Okay, we just cracked the, the flange. Oh, there we go. Everything's more brittle with it cold. Alright. That's it? Yeah. So we're taking the bottom and we're gonna lean it out there. And then kind of have it come back around and hook in. And then sit down. Okay, you wanna get the spacers? You got it? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. 
Now this isn't super critical here because I could just be standing out there on the scaffold and that's what we did for all of the rest of these. But for the window behind you and certainly and certainly the four windows we have upstairs on kind of the third floor, you know, we're not going to have scaffolding right out there. It's going to have to be just a ladder on the outside. So we needed to figure out a way that we could do this safely uh, from the inside and then have someone just run up a ladder to do the actual nailing. We good to go? Cool. Yeah, from here though, all I have to do is jump out the window instead of having to run all the way down around. That's it. Thanks for watching.